Disclaimer. This video is for educational purpose only. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for and quote, fair use and quote, for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit edu video guide I will be showing you how to use. Next dump to rewrite version 2.0, please like and sub to the Fox Den. Also here is some info on the latest commit build of the tool enjoy by the way, I did not make this tool anyone can use it for free, winky face. Why is this a pre-release instead of an actual release? The rewrite has been an ongoing project for some years now, but personal issues and time constraints have made it very hard for me to work on it on a consistent basis, this makes me feel like the rewrite branch is not ready for a full-fledged release. However, I also feel like it is much, much more advanced than what any main branch build could offer, feel free to take a look at the README for a full list of features. In my eyes, all previous next dump tool releases have been deprecated for some time now which led me to start affectionately calling them legacy builds. These builds are ugly, why didn't you keep the old UI? Because the old UI was very hard to maintain. The old codebase is a complete mess, and it disgusts me, which also led me to further fuel my own self-esteem issues, but that's another topic. The idea is to eventually migrate to a Borealis-based UI, much like the one from SysCLK Manager. Please bear with me for the time being. Deploying builds with console-based output is much easier to maintain and test while still developing the actual functionalities. Why does my Asian slash Cyrillic game display as garbage text? As explained by the previous point, these builds use console-based output for simplicity's sake. Sadly, this feature doesn't support UTF-8 output. Please understand. The new menu layout is confusing, why didn't you keep the old layout? That'd be because the old layout was even more confusing, to my eyes. Now, the game card menu strictly handles game card related dump options, like showing you how to back up your files. Um, please bear with me, I kind of have like an abscess going on in my mouth right now, so it's kind of hard for me to talk and to move my mouth, lol. So first things first, you're going to need to download my uh, repack, it's in the um, show notes, it's also in the comments section. Um, the hyperlink's not working, so just copy and paste the whole URL into a new tab and just press enter and you're all set ready to go. For the time being, it's going to be like that for my videos. So let's jump onto uh, the desktop. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and download my, download my pack. Just right click extract here, then you'll get the folder here. So we're going to copy and paste and everything and override it to the root of the micro card. Be back when that's done and if this pops up just press replace the files then just click uh, yes to all okay that um put everything on the sd card so i'll meet you on the system okay what you want to do is you want to click on the payload section then you want to click on lockpick underscore rcm dot bin so the very top one and just so you guys can see this is what it should look like just uh to go up and down is the volume keys, so the up and down keys. And to select a uh, title, you want to press the power button, which equals enter. Go ahead and press the power button where it says dump from system NAND. Go ahead and press volume down. I have old keys on my system NAND because I never updated it, so I'm going to go ahead and dump it from the MU NAND as well too. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, if you're on the latest version on your system NAND, but I'm on a low version on the uh, system NAND, so I'm going to dump it from the ME NAND as well, too. Then you want to go ahead and press the power button to dump from ME NAND. And that's what it looks like from the ME NAND. Press the minus button to go back. If you want, you can shut the system off, or you can reboot into RCM. I'm going to go ahead and reboot into RCM and just plug my Type-C cable from the handheld into the computer so you do it however you want to do it but regardless we need to take the SD card out of the system and put it into the computer now if you do click reboot to RCM uh, you have to make sure you have your uh, your loader plugged into the system otherwise you're gonna be stuck on a black screen just so you guys know so you don't freak out
Okay, as you can see, here are our product keys and here are our title keys, so we're good on that. If you want, feel free to back these up to your computer or you can just leave them on your uh, micro card. Okay, now that we got our keys and everything, let's go ahead and open up the application we need. Now this is the first time I'm using this application, so please bear with me. We already got our keys and everything, so we're all set ready to go. Now we have two of them. One is for doing just regular dumps without the you know what and this is you need to use this one so you get the the total clone of the whole file structure so you want to go ahead and press a on this okay let's get into it first things first make sure you have enough free space to do this so you need to make sure you have enough free space if you have like one gigabyte it's not going to work so you know make sure you have enough free space I'm sure it'll give you a prompt if you don't have enough free space or not okay we're gonna click the game card menu now we have to do one file at each time because it's not uh, working as a master rip so let's go ahead and let's get this started and as you can see it says output storage SDMC I have available uh, 20 point 38 gigabytes available and the full size of the card is 117.72 gigabytes okay so let's let's do the first one let's dump that and we're gonna go ahead and press uh, start that dump okay so go ahead and press start and it's gonna take about maybe like 10 15 minutes I'll be back when it's done also keep in mind guys I forgot to mention that my card on my uh, system is formatted in XFAT so you might run into a problem when it's dumping these large files that are over four gigabytes it might have to it might tell you you can't use it or you might have to split it I have no idea um, I don't use a uh, fat 32 but it will probably tell you something I'm not sure what it is so I'm not gonna bother testing that so I'm just on XFAT so put something in the comments and say hey you know Fox then it did this or it did this when you use uh, FAT32 so I just want to throw that out there we're at 91% so we're almost done and as you see it um, it got everything all successfully this will be on the root of the uh, micro card so let's press uh, A doesn't matter what you press okay so we're, now we're gonna go back now so just go ahead and press the B button okay now we need to dump this one these are all quick files so go ahead and press A then we need to do we just did the uh, initial data now we need to do the certificate so go ahead and press A okay that's done press ID set that's done the UID go ahead and press that and these other files are optional you're more than welcome to do it but we got the main files so we have a total of one two three four five these are the five files you need for the MIG so these are all set ready to go so let's go on to the PC and see what the file structure looks like so we're all at we're all done with this if you want to go ahead and if you want to dump the header I can't see uh, card info I think that says and specific data and uh, HFS optional if you want you can go ahead and do that but we don't need these files for for the MIG so we don't need the, we don't need them at all we just need a total of these five files here once again that's your main image that's one two three four five we're all done okay I'll meet you on the computer just turn off everything and we'll go on the PC Okay, so my SD card is in the system. I'm sorry, in the PC. Open up the SD card. And this is the folder that what we just dumped the contents of. Open that up, open this up, and as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. That's the whole thing. That's all set ready to go for the uh, MIG. Um, that's pretty much it for this, for this tutorial, guys. Anyway, like and subscribe to Fox Den. I'll catch you later. I have a lot of more great video guides coming out. And enjoy.
Sub to the Fox Den all my work is 100% free, I really enjoy making these video guides for you catch me on the Facebook pages and chat room, feel free to share out the video there is no Fox Den without you guys love you all, winky face.